Am I the asshole for trying to prove to my parents that my sister keeps copying me? My sister, 26, and I, 28, are not on good terms, as universally recognized due to her bullying and selfish attitude, which caused all family members to break off from her. My mom has a soft spot for her as she unfortunately does not get along with anyone and does not interact with any friends or other family members. I was a bit bothered last year when my sister decided to enroll for a MA in my university, which was in another country as to where my sister was living in, and a completely different faculty from my sister's BA. I had basically already graduated so I did not mind as much and I left quickly. Fast forward to last year and she keeps copying my motivation letters, which I had stupidly shared two years ago with her and a few friends for some feedback. This year she gets a job at one of my previous agencies, also thanks to the copied motivation letters, which she also sent to her BF. She says that the job is boring and if things do not work out she can always just apply to a job with my current agency. Keep in mind that our CVs are completely different meaning I am in the humanities and she is in the engineering field. She just keeps finding those odd jobs that my agencies had. The last straw was when I found out that she had attended a conference on the psychological effects of cancer that I was a speaker in, topic completely unrelated to hers without telling anyone and by smuggling herself in as a participant who said she knew someone with cancer. I got this from the meeting minutes. I told my mom, who I have a very close relationship with, but she laughed it off and said she basically admires me and just wanted to get inspiration on how to be a good speaker. All throughout, I have confronted my sister and encouraged her to have her own life, while trying to persuade my mom to do the same as she is the only one who has influence over her. I am starting to sound like an evil stepsister according to my mom, and I do recognize that this problem is starting to become a bit of an obsession for me. My mom called me the asshole as I keep trying to prove to her what my sister is copying, though this is literally the only way I know to try to get her to stop. I found my grown ass sister at my university in another country, at my first job agency, yet in another country, and now in my conferences, still in another country. Keep in mind that I do not believe the copying is being done with love but with jealousy due to the several jealous outbursts she has had at basically every family holiday, which led to the estrangement, that was initiated by me. On top of this my parents believe it is, cute, that my sister is switching countries to try to get close to me, while I actively avoid her. I'm worried this is borderline behavior from her as well but my parents keep saying it is just her way of looking up to me as I am the one with a, more stable, life and working in, the best agency. Last week my sister even checked out whether my building block had free apartments for rent in case she decides to come work for the same agency as you. I don't want to end up with her working on my floor for the rest of my life and sending my kids to the same school district as hers not because she is copying me of course, but because on top of that she has a bullying persona I do not want to interact with. Though I don't know how to make this stop without sounding like an obsessive and bitter person. Update. Thank you everyone. I was not expecting all these comments. A few of them were funny made me laugh, such as the one about getting pregnant to see if she will copy that too. The more serious comments are correct there is not much I can do to stop this except for cut all contacts. I had already cut most contacts with her, she was already blocked on FB, but she will always know where I work and live as I don't intend to move for the next 10 years. The idea about informing HR is good but it's a really big agency so I am worried they might not care and dismiss me as paranoid. I am trying to explain to my mother that this behavior is not normal also by showing her this forum I would like to keep in touch with my mother but I will avoid any specific information sharing. Not the asshole especially if you are low contact. However, I'd stop mentioning it to your parents. And put them on an information diet. She can't copy you if none of them know what you're up to. Who do you think is feeding her all of this information about your life? Your mom. Stop hand feeding her information. Not the asshole is she literally copying your work, as in plagiarizing, thanks to the copied motivation letters I presume. Maybe you should fight fire with fire. Announce you're pregnant and she will probably start frantically sleeping with anything just to get pregnant. Secretly take up an instrument, or a sport, or some other skill. Announce you have taken up some other interest and drum it up a lot. Like, oh wow I'm so excited about the marathon I'm running next summer. Then when next summer comes you can say, just kidding, I was learning guitar all this time, not running. What, you've spent the last year running. Why, I could get meaner, but you get the idea. Not the asshole but maybe put the word out with landlords an hour that it's making you uncomfortable so they can't accidentally assist her in this.
Am I the asshole for snapping at my ex-GF for how she behaved? This happened last week and I just need to know if I am the a-hole. Context, I, am 20, and my now ex-GF, 19, had been together since January this year. I loved spending time with her and enjoyed every bit of it. The only downside was she had a habit of rating things from cooking to watching films to how others behaved, even in bed. It was annoying. Here is a few examples. X. The food is nice but the flavor was a bit sweet for my taste, 6 tenths. X. The film was too long and didn't really catch my interest, 3 tenths. X. He acts like an idiot to make you laugh, he should just use jokes instead, 1 tenth. X. That car's too loud and makes my ears hurt, 0 tenths. It was not needed, I tried telling her to not rate everything, but she said she's only trying to help people better themselves and their choices. I could tolerate it but she then rated my family which was the final straw for me. This was last week after a family dinner which she was invited to. I walked her outside to have a talk with what she said to my little sister. M equals me. X equals XGF. Names used aren't the real ones for obvious reasons. M. Did you really need to say that? It wasn't necessary. X. It was only to, I cut her off. M. To better her? She's six years old for God's sake, she doesn't need to be an adult. Let her enjoy her time. X. Why are you so angry about this? What I'm doing is not that bad. Her face went from calm to shock. Oh my god, are mad because I rate your performance? You are such a child to let words hurt you like that. M. That's not the focus right now. I want you to apologize to my sister before we leave. X. Why should I? I was only helping. M. You said she should stop watching demonic shows. It was Tom and Jerry. The only thing possibly demonic is the little devils they get on their shoulders along with the angel, and that's not even bad. X. It's corrupting the youth. She should be reading something instead. Also you shouldn't be mad about my rating, I'm only being honest. M. O4, fine. You want honesty, here is my rating of you. 3 tenths for appearance, 1 tenth for personality, 0 tenths for social interactions, and lastly 100 tenths for both performance in bed and not shutting your mouth. Your opinion on everything is not needed, I don't want to hear what you think of anything anymore, I don't want to hear about your ex's performance or compare them to mine. Now say sorry to my sister or we're through. She began to tear up and left without another word. I told my family what happened and they agreed with what I said. The next day I got several messages from her friends saying I was d-c-k for treating her like that, saying there's nothing wrong about being honest. My friends showed me the messages they got from her and it was a completely different story basically labeling me as the bad guy. They didn't believe her though as the new me for several years. Her parents are mad at me but I could care less. So Reddit, am I the asshole? And hash x200b. Edit. Just a quick edit to say I'll post an update if something happens i the near future. Also wanted to thank you all for commenting. Some say everyone sucks here while most say that I'm not the asshole but either way I want to thank you for your honest opinions and hope you have a lovely day. So she rates other people out of 10 to the faces? Including your sexual performance? If I'm understanding this correctly you are not the asshole and she is a huge one. Your reaction seemed to have hurt her to the point that she changed the scenario so that she was a victim. That speaks volumes. No, telling an adult to stop critiquing a child is protecting a child. Noting that her critiques are judgmental and mean are just stating your feelings. Not the asshole. There is a fine line between honest and outright rude. She can rate people as much as she like in her head, but to rate them to their faces? And it's funny that she teared up when being rated to her face but she enjoys doing that to others. Yes I agree that maybe you shouldn't lash out but to be honest I'd do the same. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. As a person I'd rate her a 1 out of 10. This post is a 6 tenths. Would I be the asshole if I refused to let my mother see my children until she paid back money she stole? Long story, my apologies. My mother worked at a credit union. When I was 16 yo she opened me an account there to help me with my finances. When I turned 19 I joined the military. I had one account and everything went into it. She would move everything out when it came in, pay my bills from another account, and put an allowance back into my checking, including when I deployed, to, help me save, at 26. I got married, and she tried her best to get him to switch banks to hers to help us save and plan together, but he was adamant about staying independent, good call, but it caused many fights between them. A year later we had our first child and shortly after my parents got divorced. 
During the divorce my dad did a financial review and found lots of missing money. He also found large debts transferred to his name from hers, some that were then transferred to my name. When he saw these he insisted I hire someone to review my financials. Well, lo and behold, all my money was gone. My enlistment, re-enlistment bonuses, my deployment money, even the little student loans she had me get to put into a savings and make money on until I graduated. Over $100,000 gone and about $20,000 in debt that she had balance transferred into my name over a 10 years period. I went NC with her 9 years ago, now we're finally expecting our second child. We had to wait so long to recover financially, and she's trying to get back into our lives when she found out. On top of the finances she also, stole, many of our firsts with our first child, i.e. sneaking her to see Santa for the first time without us, sneaking her solid foods for the first without us, and more. I don't want her back in our lives at all but we're getting a lot of pressure from other family insisting. We should let her back. I have the only grandchildren on her side. It's wrong to withhold them. It was my fault for not being responsible and leaving it to her. And I'm an asshole for letting money come between family etc etc. Others suggested making her pay back everything before being allowed back. Then even more family said I'd be disgusting to make a grandmother pay to see her only grandchildren. So. Would I be the asshole to tell her she can't see her grandchildren until she pays everything back? ETA. For those asking about pressing charges. It was suggested to me a couple times but I honestly never had the heart to follow through with anything. The thought of doing it always made me feel terrible inside. For those asking about my husband's feelings. He is not interested in having a personal relationship with her however he has said many times that the decision was up to me and he wouldn't want to come between us. He has a huge amazing super close family and it's hard for him to comprehend them not being in our life. He's expressed that if she did come back into our life his one boundary would be that she was never left alone in our home or with the children, which I feel the same. But ultimately left the decision up to me. We did have some good memories and she was there to babysit and help the first year. Which is what makes this part so confusing to me. Not the asshole. She doesn't care about you or your children. She made that clear by stealing from you which is money you needed for your family's financial security. On top of that, stealing your firsts is beyond cruel. She has shown no remorse for treating you with zero regard or respect. This will only get worse. You have made the right decision and whoever is pressuring you can kick rocks. They didn't have their financial security and special moments stolen from them. Not the asshole tell them you did your mom a favor by not putting her in jail. That is the only grace she gets. If she wants to start rebuilding the trust then the first step is to repay the money she's stolen. Then you will take it from there. But as it stand your mom has destroyed any trust you have in her to be allowed access to your children. Then block and move ignore the flying monkeys. Not the asshole. I mean, that is absolutely a reasonable request. You have zero reason to trust her and everyone pressuring you sucks. Like, those are seriously dysfunctional folks who think a thief who continuously abused your trust is owed anything. Not the asshole to demand restitution because you are owned restitution for what your mother stole and defrauded you of. What a strange coincidence that her wanting to reconnect comes when you are finally recovering from the financial blow she dealt you. Op. I wouldn't trust that woman inch with my children, in my home or in my life and I don't think you should either. This is kind of tricky no I don't think you should make paying back a conditions to see the kids. But I also don't think she should be allowed back in just because you don't want to stand firm to family pressures. If you want her in your and their life then it should be because of that. Not because you are tired of people talking to you you. Putting their noses in your business. Because honestly you can just block them too. Don't buckle under pressure make a pros and cons list and make a decision based on what is best for your kids you and your hubs. What does she think? These are his kids too. If you do allow her back and then set firm boundaries and if she steps out of line react swiftly and absolute. No hem hawing. No excuses. People only treat you the way you allow them to. Am I the asshole for turning my in-laws away? So my wife, 32F, and I, 34M, are expecting our first child, and as a result are working through some renovations around the house to get the place baby ready. We're only about six weeks away from the due date, so I'm in full on get shit done mode. My wife has also been having it out with her mother recently and they're not on the greatest of terms right now. Her mother has this neat way of flipping every situation into being about her and her feelings, no matter how far away she actually is removed from whatever said situation is. 
My wife has gotten to the point where she's done playing therapist to her mother, and is just giving her thoughts and opinions, when asked, straight with no sugarcoating. It's been going about as well as you'd expect, but I stand behind my wife fully as I'm also tired of the BS. So yesterday afternoon, just as I'm about to lay down some new flooring I hear some car doors slam outside and our dog starts loosing her mind. Great. I see through a window that it's my in-laws walking up the driveway and go to tell my wife. She had no idea that they were stopping by, and we both hate it when people drop in without giving us a good 30-minute warning, especially if they expect to come in. We've expressed this many times to them in the past. Anyway, Mill knocks and lets herself in, asking if we're decent. I'm commando in basketball shorts and a very sweaty t-shirt, so I reply with a nope. My very pregnant wife is still scrambling to get dressed at this point, and my Phil is standing just outside on the porch looking like he doesn't want to be there, typical. Mill starts asking all cheerily if they can come in and see the progress we're making, completely ignoring that she's been saying some very unpleasant things to my wife lately. I tell her no, I'm right in the middle of doing stuff, I don't have time to be giving tours, and neither of us are dressed for company. I think she thinks I'm joking, as I've been known to have a dry sense of humor and she's used to getting her way, but I stand firm that this is not a good time. They both leave and head back to their truck with stunned looks on their faces, my wife shooting me a mild stink eye in the process and goes off after them. So my wife is outside talking to them for a few minutes and then they drive off. My wife comes back in stressing that I may have just made the beef between her and her mother worse, and that her stepdad feels snubbed because he wanted to help me with whatever it was I was working on. Neither one of us believed that he wanted to help one little bit, that was just her mother's in for coming over, but either way they should have called first. My wife, however, was pleased that I was able to set a firm boundary with them, and generally agrees with everything I did. I would have done the same thing with my own parents, even though I know I'd never have to as they respect our space and know how phone works. Still, I can't shake feeling like a bit of a dick about it. Not the asshole. You were very blunt and it appears your in-laws got the message. Dropping in unannounced is very rude. You and your wife are doing the right thing. Not the asshole. It sounds like this is routine for them, and whatever you've tried before to put a stop to it has not worked. Based on that, you're completely justified for escalating it to this level. Edit. Whatever the reason she was able to let herself in, you need to put an end to that. She's proven she can't be trusted with that capability. You should have been able to just not answer the door at all. Not the asshole. It's best to get this straight with them now before the baby comes. They can't drop in on a whim when you have a sleeping baby. Not the asshole. Nip this in the bud, and set firm boundaries before little one arrives, because it will only get worse. Just imagine, you finally get baby to sleep, or find a chance to grab a catnap, and suddenly there's pounding on your door. Young sleep-deprived parents have no obligation to provide hospitality with zero notice, and those who care for you won't try to argue that point. 